Welcome to Academic Guru's Tutoring Thursday, where we answer all of your high school, college, and university questions. If you would like your question to be featured on next week's Tutoring Thursday, please submit your questions to questions at academicgurusinc.com. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay current with all of our new videos. Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking about velocity versus acceleration and as you see there is this word speed in parentheses right in front of velocity that I'm going to be um, you know, explaining the differences between the speed and velocity in the meantime as well. All right, so to begin, let's just define what speed is uh, defined to be. Speed is essentially in physics is uh, basically distance over time. And uh, what I mean by distance is literally what we are used to on a daily basis. So if you Google uh, the distance between point A and B, uh, maybe Google Maps gives you like this line, this pathway, and then um, it also will tell you that, well, this is the, uh, the, di the distance between point A and B, like, like, I don't know, like city A to city B is such and such uh, miles or kilometers or whatever. Um, this is essentially in distance, and speed is this length over the time that you will take in order to go from A to B. Now, there is another quantity that we use in physics, so that's a, a physics quantity, so like a physics jargon that we use, and that is called velocity. Now, velocity is defined to be displacement over time. And what I mean by displacement is basically the straight line that I would be able to draw from point A to point B. If I start at point A and I finish at point B. So this straight line is called displacement and a displacement over time would give me velocity. To give you like a very general example, I can, you know, we can think of a runner that, you know, covers, I don't know, like half a circle kind of path and this is like point A and this is point B. Um, obviously, as we can see, this is the distance. All right. And if this runner covers this distance in, I don't know, 30 minutes, then that distance over the time gives us the speed of the runner. And if you are looking for the velocity of the runner, then it would be the displacement of the of the runner, which means that he starts off at A. It's as if he disappears and reappears at B. So we don't we do not we're not concerned with how he got to B. We just draw a line from A to B, and that's called displacement. And this distance, uh, this 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 length. To be, uh, to, uh, to be exact over time would give us the velocity of the runner. I know it's very not common sensey, and you have every right to say, well, like, why would we even do this? But guess what? In physics, that actually works. Um, there is a reason behind it. It's out of the scope of this video. It's like, if I want to elaborate on this, it's going to be a whole other video for itself. Um, but just so you know, velocity is the jargon that we use in physics. It really works. And and we actually build other quantities based on this quantity, not uh, the speed necessarily. Speed is like more uh, daily life quantity situations and uh, situation. And like, like I said, if you Google something on Google Maps, that's exactly what Google Maps will tell you. It will tell you the distance, not the displacement, because in daily life, we are concerned with how we go from A to B. Is, it a, is there any shortcuts or anything whatsoever? Anyhow, uh, to make it a little bit more uh, mathematical, let's just write up the formula in uh, with
with um, you know with notations that we d uh, we adopt velocity is mostly abbreviated by v um, delta x expresses the displacement between two points and time with t um, these are all vector quantities uh, like I said, that a vector quantity is a whole other video, um, which we're which we can talk about later. But the whole point of this video is to explaining to you the differences between velocity and acceleration. So basically, uh, that's the concern of this video. Now, uh, moving forward from the definition of velocity, um, and like somehow. Um, getting into what exactly this means velocity means motion so basically I want everyone from now onwards to tag motion with velocity so if something moves it has velocity if something is motionless the velocity is zero so um, from now on I want everyone to think of velocity as a moving thing. So tag motion to velocity. Um, but there is another word that sort of, for some reason, students think it, it is also some, so, somehow velocity, and that is called acceleration. Now, there is a huge difference between acceleration and velocity, and I'm going to be talking about that in a second. But just to start, uh, let's just see what acceleration is defined to be, and then we can maybe better understand why uh, they are not the same, with, uh, like why acceleration and velocity are not the same. Essentially, acceleration is defined to be the change in velocity over time. As you see, um, in the numerator, I basically what I have is that I have change in velocity and not velocity itself, which means that as long as you move, um, you have a velocity because, like I said, motion means having some velocity. If you move, you have velocity. If you don't move, you do not have velocity. However, if you move, but you, what, but you move at a constant velocity, so you move smoothly and continuously without going up and down in terms of your fastness of motion, you are not changing that velocity. And as long as you are not changing that velocity, as long as delta v, the change in velocity, is zero, then acceleration is also zero because acceleration is defined to be the change in velocity and not the velocity over time. Um, I always tell this to my students, whenever you're hitting your gas pedal or brake pedal, either way, as long as you increase or decrease your velocity, you are accelerating. Why, you may ask? Well, because the velocity is changing and acceleration is defined to be the change in velocity over time. So that's, that's, the, that's the definition. A lot of times I see that students um, basically um, think that velocity and acceleration are the same. They think that as long as something moves, something has to have acceleration. Well, no. Guess what? If something moves, but it's moving with a constant velocity, let's say you're moving in a car, but the car is on cruise control set at some certain velocity, then you're not going up or down uh, on that velocity. That means there is no change in velocity, and that means the acceleration is dead zero. So um, make sure you really understand the, the concept and that clears up a lot of um, you know misunderstandings and everything. Um, so as long as you move it is not it does not mean that you're having an acceleration but if you move and your velocity changes that speedometer in your car goes up or down the fastness of your speed goes up or down then you're accelerating. Okay? If it goes up, then you're speeding up. If it goes down, it means that you're speeding down. Uh, you're or slowing down, basically. 
Um, so that is a difference between uh, velocity and acceleration, but there are cases where, you know, you have like velocity and acceleration and a lot of times you are asked whether something is speeding up, something is slowing down and the, for the rest of the video I'm going to be talking about those scenarios. In a lot of cases, if this is essentially what happens all the time, there is this trend as long as the velocity and acceleration are in the same direction. So I don't care if they are both to the right or to the left or upward or downward, both of them. I really don't have any preference in that regard. As long as they are in the same direction, that object is basically speeding up. So this part of the motion if this is the if this is your car so if it if it if the car is moving to the like upward and it's accelerating upward as well so basically someone is pulling it upward at the same time so you have like a toy car and so like it's the toy car is moving this way and someone is pushing it also in the same direction that means the car is speeding up and that holds for all the rest of the directions. Now there is another scenario. There is a scenario where you have your velocity to the right but your acceleration is to the left. Or you have your velocity to the left and acceleration is to the right. I don't know. Somehow the different the the, the directions are exactly opposite. So let's say the toy car is moving to the right but someone is pulling it to the left, all right? These scenarios are the ones that we actually say they are slowing down motions. So to wrap up everything, in this video, what we started off with was essentially started off with the definition of velocity and speed. Um, speed is distance over time, something that we use on a daily basis. Velocity is a physics quantity. It's something that we use in physics and we we have like all the rest of the quantities um, defined based on this quantity and that's displacement over time. Displacement has no idea how we go from point A to point B. It only is concerned with point A and point B and a straight line between them. As long as something moves, it means it has velocity, but it does not mean it has acceleration. So make sure you don't confuse any motion with necessarily accelerating motion. So to be exact, acceleration is the change in velocity not velocity itself. If velocity, if you have a velocity of 20 miles per hour, but you keep that velocity, you're not accelerating. Just get used to it. Acceleration kicks in whenever that 20 miles per hour becomes 30 miles per hour over time or becomes 10 miles per hour, either way. And uh, so basically as long as we have you know, delta V or like the change in velocity. And that's pretty much it. And then we talked about the speeding up motion, slowing down motion and all that jazz. So make sure if you have the questions or anything, email it to us, comment it below, and I definitely get back to you in, in other videos. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Thank you for tuning into our Tutoring Thursday channel. If you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. We would love to hear from you. Until next week's Tutoring Thursday, happy studying.